If you were on an island, what are five foods you would take with you? Now, I love the question out of Roundhouse. Again, even if I didn't love the question, Roundhouse was getting featured because that's a phenomenal name. Hopefully, he's taking up some UFC fighting somewhere. But I had to think about this one because I'm thinking my favorite food. But then I said, you know what? If I'm on an island, I need something that's versatile. I want a versatile food. I'm going to do my top five most versatile foods that I would take with me. Ones that are not only great, but have the range, can do a little bit of everything. Everybody likes a player. Everybody likes a food that can do it all. What makes LeBron James so great? He can cover every position one to five. He could be your point guard. He could be your center, power forward, shooting guard, strong forward. Doesn't matter. Starting us off, number five, someone that could do a little bit of everything, a food that can do a little bit of everything, eggs. You can start and end your day with eggs, scrambled eggs, You could put eggs on a final dish, necessary in so many dishes. Dogs are man's best friend. Eggs are a pastry chef's best friends. You don't have a lot of pastry without a little bit of eggs. Got to have eggs somewhere down the line. Scramble them. You could put them on breakfast sandwiches. You could do a little bit of everything with eggs. Some of these Mexican restaurants just throw an egg on top of a dish, and nobody questions it. Something about the egg, it's just you know not to question it. You don't really know why it's there, but you put an egg on there, you really can't say anything. And egg's an egg, very versatile thing. Number four, bagels. We know how much I love bagels. What can't you throw on a bagel? Tuna fish, gefilte fish, turkey, cream cheese, peanut butter, jelly, avocado, lox, onions, capers. Bagels can do it all. It is the base for just about everything and anything. I got bagels in the four slot, food you can't live without with. Now, number three, can we give a little love to the hash browns, the home fries of the world, the potatoes? It's amazing what the potato can do. We don't talk about it enough. Sweet potato, baked potato, French fries, steak fries, curly fries. You got fancy home fries that you get at steakhouses. You always get those same home fries, too, at breakfast as well. Home fries keep you on your toes. Are you going to get a hash brown? You don't know. Potatoes do it all. Let's start giving home fries the credit it deserves. I got home fries slash potatoes at number three with that versatility. Number two, we all know I love it as well, Caesar salads. You could do anything with a Caesar salad. You could have it for lunch. You could have it for an entree. You could throw salmon on top of a Caesar salad. You could have a Caesar salad wrap. I sound like Bubba Gump from Bubba Gump Shrimp. We got all types of shrimp. We got fried shrimp. It's kind of what we got with Caesar salad. We got all types of Caesar salads. Love the Caesar salad. Again, very, very versatile. You could have it as an appetizer. Caesar salads, do, they go all over borders. Everybody knows a good Caesar salad. It's America's pastime. It's the world's pastime. Everybody out there somewhere is eating a salad, a Caesar salad, in some way, shape, or form. Cannot deny that. Number one, a lot of people didn't see this coming, but when I think I say it, people are going to say, oh, yeah, you know what, Big Game Bob? That's a very good point you bring up here, episode 95 on the Brilliant Dump Show. The number one food that gives you pleasure and versatility, bacon. You can throw bacon on a breakfast sandwich. You can get it as a side for an extra $2.99 at your local diner as well. There's fancy bacon at steakhouses as well. There's cheap bacon as well. You can put bacon on top of a wedge, a little bit of blue cheese. That never hurt nobody. You got lunch sandwich bacon comes on the sandwich. That's a big time play. Played a huge role. Bacon played a massive role in the longevity of the BLT. BLT has been a long, been around for as long as I can remember. My grandparents, 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 ancestors, grandparents were eating bacon. Bacon's been around. Pigs aren't going anywhere, folks. That's good news for you. A little bit of good news here for you in 2020. I got bacon in the one slot.